There has been a third arrest and now a felony charge associated with a track meet brawl in Gulf Shores. A confrontation with police in the grandstands turning violent as police say the mother, father and their 20 year old son fought with them. Fox to News, Hal Sherrick has been following the investigation. He found out today the mother is now facing a very serious charge. The disturbing encounter was captured on video by a bystander. In the video, Gulf Shores police are seen trying to subdue Devin Wilson after they say he became uncooperative and force became necessary. Investigators say officers had already had one encounter with him after some spectators complained about his behavior. When they went to speak with him this time was after more patrons in the stands had, had drawn the officer's attention to Devin for his behavior. What kind of behavior are we talking about? Just general disorderly behavior. Uh, foul language and such. During the scuffle, first, a woman can be seen jumping in the fight, tugging at an officer. Police say this is Yama Wilson. It's at some point after police tased her son, they say she took the taser from the officer's hand and threw it. Police identified the man seen running up the stairs and jumping in as Devin's father, John Wilson, who turned himself in yesterday. Anytime that situation arises, uh, it, it brings the opportunity for situation to devolve greatly very quickly. Uh, it's a very serious matter when it comes to obstructing an officer to begin with, much less doing so by disarming him of any of his equipment. All three family members are charged with resisting arrest. Devin and his mother also charged with disorderly conduct and each also face one felony charge. Devin with assault second and his mother with disarming a law enforcement officer. Absolutely the sentiment of the Gulf Shores Police Department that extreme restraint was shown in this situation and it could have ended much worse. It was after taking a closer look at that third party video from the stands and their own police, their own officers body cam footage that Gulf Shores Police brought that additional charge against the mother. Now they're not making that body cam footage public at this time. Reporting live in Gulf Shores, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.